There were six and a half kills in Halloween H2O, and I promise that'll make at least a little more sense next video. The victims included four and a half dudes and two ladies, giving us this pretty standard pie chart, and with a runtime of 86 minutes, we wound up with a kill on average every 12.29 minutes. Nine people died in the second season of Look See, which is less than the first, but that's not adjusting for inflation. Of the victims, there were six males and three females. I only know because I read the script, which names those two Capshaw kids killed in the beginning. With a runtime of 20 minutes, we had a kill on average every 2.22 minutes. Okay. There were ten and a half kills in Halloween Resurrection, the half coming from the paramedics since we already counted half of him at the end of H2O. The victims included six and a half men coming to CBS this fall, and four women, giving us an almost even pie chart. With a runtime of 90 minutes, that gives us a kill on average every 8.57 minutes. Nine people died in this season of Sunny Family Cult, including Roger, even though he got reborn. The victims consisted of six men, two women, and one unseen person who could have been literally anybody, so have a fun little try pie for your troubles. With a runtime of 25 minutes, we had a kill on average every 2.78 minutes. 22 people died in Rob Zombie's Halloween remake. The victims included 15 men and 7 women, giving us a more than 2 to 1 dead dude ratio. And with a runtime of 110 minutes, we wound up with a kill on average every 5 minutes flat. I'll give Nine people died in Suspiria, at least as far as we could tell from what we saw. And of those deaths, seven were women while only two were men, giving us an uncommon pie chart that's more than three quarters lady victims. With a runtime of 99 minutes, we wound up with a kill on average every 11 minutes. I'll 19 people died in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, and the victims consisted of 12 men and 7 women. Oh, also, he ate a dog. Ain't no pie wedge for that shit, though. With a runtime of 115 minutes, we wound up with a kill on average just about every 6 minutes. I'll give Only 9 people died in Ice Cream Man, quite a soft serving for such a bloody slasher. The victims included 7 men and 2 women, and maybe a little surprisingly, given the cast, none of them were kids. Go figure. With a runtime of 86 minutes, we wound up with a kill on average every 9.56 minutes. Okay. By my count, there were five victims in Frankenstein. They included three dudes, one little girl, and one Frankenstein's monster, who, you know, was also a dude, so no extra pie wedge for him. It's fine. With a runtime of 70 minutes, we had a kill on average every 14 minutes. 